All right, what's up? Um, I'm gonna be doing a tutorial on how to do uh, Tim the Tapman style um, zoom in. It looks a little something like this, something like that. Um, you can also do it from like this screen right here. I'm just kind of, you know. Uh, but that's just an idea of what what it does. You know, Tim the Tapman does it. I'm sure some other people do it, but I know Tim does it a lot. Um, one of my one of my friends asked me, you know, how how do you do that? Can you do a tutorial? Well, not really do a tutorial, but can you explain that to me? And I just decided, fuck it, I'll just do it in a um, in a video. So it's uh, it's actually really easy to do. Um, it's a simple breakdown. All you're doing is creating hotkeys and scenes. Um, that will uh, the hotkeys will allow you to switch the scenes, and the scenes are just the different levels of zooms. So um. Let's see if I can do this correctly here. It's a 0 for 2, man. I tried doing this a bunch of times, messed up, so I'm hoping this works this time around. And I'm going to try to do this as quick as possible um, in order to get the whole gist of this done. So this is my main page, right? This is uh, the, the screen that you're going to start out with. Um, I made it main. Um, and right here would be your video capture device. Um, real quickly, what I'm going to do is I just grabbed a... Uh, image off of the internet and I'm going to use that as my um, screen my like quote-unquote video capture device so I'm gonna just call it VCD right now that's video capture device you would be using your actual video capture device to, to do your like your webcam um, so don't use an image please use your webcam instead um, and I'm just going to grab this picture real quick this is the picture I'm using I know it's very meme worthy lol worthy Whatever you'd like to call it. Okay, I'm just gonna scale this down really ugly. Okay, so there I am on stream, right? This is my main page, once again. Um, so then what we're gonna do is we're gonna add a scene. We're gonna call it Zoom. Oh, not Zoom, Zoom. The Zoom was that failed MP3 player, okay. Over here, we're gonna add our video capture device. Once again, I'm using an image, so don't use that. Use your webcam. Um, have it fill up the screen. Yours will probably fill up the screen, so it's okay. Um, I'm just going to center this, uh, but if your webcam is, you know, 16 by nine, it should fill up the entire screen. No worries. So if you want, you can put other things in there. Like for example, I have like a bar down here. So now that we've got our original one there, um, we're going to right click, we're going to duplicate and it says zoom space two. That's fine. Uh, so now we have two of those. You're going to click on the first one again, right click, duplicate again, zoom space three. So you need more zooms. Just you know, add more and they should all look identical. Now what you're going to do, this is, this is how you make it look like you're zooming in. Click on one of the handles, hold control and you're going to scroll out or slide out and it's going to zoom in a little bit. See that? Bam, boom. And now you got a little bit of the zoom and this one on zoom three, you're going to do the same thing, but you're going to make it a little more zoomed in. Um, you might have to move it around a bit. Um, this is, there are probably better ways to do this. I have, I don't know, to be honest. This is just the way that I did it. It's fast, it's simple, it's easy. You don't have to do anything like crazy. No, no features or nothing. And that's literally it. That's, if you want more zooms, you can do it, but that's literally it. You duplicate the original zoom. It'll name it a number for you and you just increase the zoom every time. Um, now, if you want to make like a smoother transition, see how he's got kind of like there's a little bit of gray up there or whatever. Sometimes you just like to fiddle around with it, move it around a little bit so you can get onto the point you really want to get to. Um, just make sure that when you zoom in, um, that wherever you're seated is where you want the zoom to be. Uh, so give it a couple tries. Make sure you're seated in the right position. Your camera's in the right position. I would suggest not moving the camera at all, not switching positions, or unless you want to, unless you want to. Uh, redo this over or fiddle with it again and so that 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 covers the scene part of this the way that we make this work we go into settings to hotkeys right past this divider are scenes and they're um, listed by uh, alphabetically so bar only camera blah 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 main i have my main one set to number seven or num seven you can switch it to anything you want on the on your uh, keyboard but i Highly recommend not doing macros because macros, uh, OBS doesn't like macros. It doesn't like a lot of things, a lot of keys on your, on your keyboard. So I found that the number pad is probably the easiest one to use. So main, I have on number seven, that's your default page. I'm going to scroll down. We want to use the zooms with the 
apps because these are the actual ones that I use. Switch to scene, find that, you click in it, and you hit the number pad key that you would want to correspond it to. So zoom one, I have set to number pad one. Zoom two, switch scene, number pad two. Zoom three, switch scene, number pad three. Boom, that's it. Hit OK. Now look at this. I hit seven. Seven's on my main page. There I am, smiling, cheesing. I want to zoom in for dramatic effect. One, two, three. Boom, done. That's it. It's that easy. And then you switch with number seven. And you're good to go. You're good to make some comedic uh, effect happen. Um, it, it's a very, very funny thing to do. I've seen Tim the Tatman do it. There's this one guy on Beam. I, I forgot. I don't know his name. But he does it too, where he does this while music's going on. But instead, his uh, image is like snapping all over the screen. It's like everywhere. But that's that's literally it. There's nothing more to it. Um, thanks for watching this tutorial. I'll probably come up with some more OBS tutorials for some s slight advanced things that will help you uh, to streamline your stream. Anyways, thanks for watching and uh, have some fun out there.